There is not many people I would get up and dance for in that way, <laughs> so thank you. Let's give them another round of applause. So thank you to all our pupils and our visitors. And I just want to say that I haven't got a pre-prepared speech because Mrs. Task has just said to me, can you just get up and speak? So that's what I'm about to do. So most of you know me, if you don't know me, I'm Janice Allen and I am the head teacher of this wonderful, wonderful school. I want to just share a little bit with you first of all in terms of what I believe a school should be. I believe a school should be at the heart of the community. It shouldn't be dictating to the community about what that community should value. A school and a community is a partnership. It's a way of working, it's a way of being. It's something I've always believed in and something I've been able to put into practice here at Failing. And one of my proudest achievements is over the past two years during COVID, we've built our community wing of the school. 
and it's seen us make new friends. So for example, the Forgotten Heroes Project, thank you to our visitors who've attended here today. Let's give a round of applause please for our Forgotten Heroes. partnerships so it's seen us strengthen partnerships with people such as Nigeria Community Association, Caring and Sharing, Rochdale Women's Welfare Association and Petrus and I hope that what we're able to do as a school is to just give something back and part of what I've wanted to do with the children since I've been at this school is to get them good academic grades yes of course that's important it opens a door but to actually create them as wonderful citizens who are prepared to take action when they see an injustice. And I'm just going to finish off in that version of hope because I think there is extraordinary hope in our young people. Our young people will flourish in ways that we can't ever imagine and we've just got to give them that opportunity. And it does go back to what Robert F. Kennedy said, which is the premise of all our work. Every time a man stands up, man or woman, stands up to an injustice or acts against an act of oppression, they send forth a ripple of hope. And from those ripples of hope, they cross over each other and the millions of daring and energy come together. And from that, they create a tsunami that can tear down the mightiest walls of oppression and resistance. And we've got to believe in something for the future. And I am so privileged to be part of this community. So Lucy asked me to just come up here and just speak. That's what I've done. I've spoke from the heart. That's what I believe. And I hope that we will be partners for a very, very long time. So thank you to all of you for taking your time to come out today. Thank you to my pupils. Thank you to my staff. But I also want to say thank you to Mrs. Tasker because Mrs. Tasker, I said to her about six weeks ago, you know, we, we did the International Human Rights Day. We need to do a Living in Hope Day, don't we? And this is what she's been able to pull together. So there we are. Can I give everybody a round of applause? Thank you.